Karen, you are so disgusting. You leave your dishes in the sink. You throw your clothes everywhere. I hate you. I really want you to move out. Hi, do you sometimes find yourself getting stuck in a rut with how to approach a character? Or maybe your monologues and scenes are feeling a little one note and you wanna break out of that pattern? Well, today I'm gonna to give you four simple tactics that you can use to break yourself out of your acting habits and find some new range of emotion that you can play as an actor. So stick around after the bump. Hello, I'm Doug Fall. Welcome to Augmented Actor, where we teach you tactics and information that will help you with your acting career. And we also combine acting and performance with tech, especially VR. So today we're just gonna be talking about some simple acting techniques. Now, we're not talking Meisner, we're not talking character development. That's not what we're talking about today. Today are some tweaks to your acting style, to your approach to acting that you can use. There's some simple, simple things. They're so simple, I don't even know why I'm making a video about them. But we're gonna take that first scene that I did and we're going to modify it using these three simple principles. So the first thing I notice a lot of new actors doing is they will kind of stay in one emotion for an entire scene or monologue. If they're playing angry, they will just play angry. If they're playing happy, they'll kind of go into this happy, happy place and they'll just sort of stay in this mode and it becomes kind of one note after a while and you kind of get tired of listening to it even after a few sentences, right? How can we take that little scene I did at the beginning and make it a little bit more interesting? Tactic number one, change the pitch of your voice. So this is a simple technique. As you're practicing your monologues or your dialogue, consider changing the pitch of your voice. We all talk in normal life with a range, an octave or two of focal inflection. When we want emphasis, we go down low maybe, if we wanna be precise. And then sometimes we talk way up high and we laugh <laughs> when we're laughing, we're up way up high. When we're angry, we can sometimes get yelly and sometimes we can just be like really firm. So play with just that simple technique. It's very technical. So let's do that scene again with some pitches in voice. Karen. You are so disgusting! You leave your dishes in the sink. You throw your clothes everywhere. I hate you. I want you to move out. Tactic number two is to vary your speed. So say some phrases very slowly and methodically and other phrases very quickly, rapidly with staccato. Let's see that scene again. Care. You are so disgusting. You leave your dishes in the sink. You throw your clothes everywhere. I hate you. I want you to move out. Tactic number three is to vary the volume of your delivery. Practice delivering some lines very softly and some lines very loudly. Let's see the scene again. Karen, you are so disgusting. You leave your dishes in the sink, throw your clothes everywhere. I hate you. I want you to move out. Tactic number four, imitate somebody else doing the monologue. Think of somebody you know or a famous person and just imitate how you think they would do the monologue. And I guarantee it, if unless you're actually doing somebody's uh, character, you're gonna sound like yourself. Karen, you are so disgusting. You leave your dishes in the sink. You throw your clothes everywhere. I hate you. I want you to move out. Karen, you are so disgusting. I mean, you, 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 you leave your dishes in the sink. You uh, throw your clothes everywhere. I hate you. I want you to move out. All of these techniques and tactics that I showed you today are ranges that you can play within. How do you play within these ranges? Now, I had an acting teacher in college who said it's the actor's job to sort of find some variety from performance to performance, especially he was talking about theater, but this can work with different takes for film and whatnot. You have constraints that you need to work with 
within. These could be your blocking, the lines that you're given. You have to be in your light or on your mark. Those are the constraints that you are given by the director. And there's certain boundaries of emotions that you can reach. This is one extreme of complete no emotion and this is the other extreme of like vast emotion. And you want to play somewhere in the middle. Think of the analogy of a road. And let's say the lines on the sides of the highway are your constraints. These are the boundaries that you have to work within. You can go into this lane, you can swerve into that lane. Each night as a performer, you can play within these boundaries. Now there are certain parts of a show, for instance, if you have to do choreography or fight choreography, where the road narrows and your constraints are much tighter. So there you gotta walk the line and do what you're supposed to do. But then there's times when your road opens up to a four lane highway and you have a lot of options. And if you go off the road way over here you will be pulled back by the director or the stage manager and they'll say you know you're going a little too far we can't bring the character into that off-road area so stay within your boundaries but play within your boundaries and it is your right as an actor to discover new things every single time you perform so don't be afraid to wiggle around a little bit within those confines and you will be a better actor for it so those were some pretty simple tactics, right? Those are just some simple tricks that I have used to break things up. If you get stuck in a rut or don't know what to do with a character, or you just want to find a little variety. Or if a director at an audition says, hey, could you try it again and do something different with it? Just throw one of these tricks on and I guarantee you it'll look completely different. So I hope you found these tips and tricks useful in your acting practice. If so, leave some comments below and tell me how these things worked out for you. And also consider subscribing to my channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.